Hi, my name is Charles Parker. I'm one of the machine learning gurus here at BigML. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use BigML to help you make predictions from your data. BigML analyzes your data using supervised machine learning. One way to think of this type of learning is learning by example. BigML looks at your data as a collection of examples of how to perform some task. And that task is to predict one part of your data from another. Now, it might not be clear right away why this is useful, but there are lots of important problems that fit this mold. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. Suppose you have a subscription-based website. You keep track of each customer's usage of your service, and also whether the customer maintained their subscription into the following month. So each customer provides us with a training example each month. Using this data, BigML can learn how to predict when a customer is going to drop their subscription based on how they used your service. To take another example, suppose you have a number of customers and a number of products. For each customer, you know some demographic information about them, such as their age and gender. For each product, you also know some statistics, such as the type and cost of the product. Finally, each time a customer purchases a product, the customer rates the product on a scale of 1 to 5. These ratings become our training examples. Using this data, BigML can predict how much a customer will like a product based on the information about the customer and the product. The power of BigML is that the model it learns can be used on data outside of your set of examples. In the subscription service example, if you know a customer's usage patterns, BigML can tell you in advance whether or not they will cancel their subscription. In the product recommendation example, as long as you know the relevant information about the product and the customer, BigML can tell you if that customer is likely to like the product before they buy it. Once BigML has learned a predictive model from your set of examples, it can make predictions on examples it has never seen before. To make this a little more concrete, let's take a look at some data and see the process of transforming it into a BigML dataset. To create a BigML dataset, you should have a data file with rows and columns. Each row or instance in the dataset represents an example of your prediction problem, and each column or field represents a piece of information about that example. In this data, which is about churn prediction at a phone company, each row represents a customer, and each column is information about how that customer used the service and whether or not they maintained their subscription through the following month. To import this data into BigML, click the folder icon in the Sources view. You can also create sources from online data by clicking the link icon. Acceptable online data sources include Amazon S3 buckets, Microsoft Azure, or OData sources. Or drag your file into the sources view. The new source will appear in the list of sources. When BigML creates a source, it tries to automatically determine the number and types of fields in your source. Clicking on the source gives you a preview of the detected columns. Each row in the preview shows the detected type of field and some of the data in that field. To correct this preview, you can use the Configure Source button to open a panel of options for the source. The next step in working with your data is to create a data set. When a data set is created, it means that BigML has made a pass through your data and computed some statistics about each field. To create a data set from your source, you can use the Configure Data Set button in the Source Preview screen. Or just use the one-click data set option in the BigML Cloud at the top right. When a data set is created, BigML will show you the histograms and statistics related to each field in your data set. 